Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Mario is Missing, done right! A Super Mario World ROM hack, which is brought to you by GameAnyone.com Alright, this hack was done by Gamma V and released sometime this year. Now, this person wanted to do a hack based on Mario is Missing, which was an edutainment game. Now, I've done the NES version of that game. I don't think I ever did the Super Nintendo version. Which is basically the same concept, but the SNES one was the one I actually remember playing as a kid. Not the NES one, which I didn't even know existed until recently. But anyways, let's get started. Oh no! Bowser set another cataclysmic trap, and Mario fell right in. It's up to Luigi to save the day now. Alright, so that was like pretty much the opening of the original Mario is Missing in World Zero. Alright, so it's gonna look like this. The overworld is actually from Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. And you cannot press start to actually zoom out, or at least pan the map a little bit. So, I guess we're gonna have to take it as it comes. Green Goomba Hills. Okay, I don't have, like, limited stopping power like Luigi does in Lost Levels. So, that's pretty cool, I guess. Have you noticed that the, uh, HUD on the bottom is very similar to Mario 3? I mean, that's actually pretty cool. You even got a little meter for your running, and that was bad. So, that's actually pretty cool. I noticed a lot of the tracks are from, uh, Super Mario RPG. The opening theme was actually from Mario is Missing when you're taking on the Koopalings. Now granted, there were only three Koopalings you fought in Mario is Missing, but yeah. If they had to make it like you fought all seven of them, that would mean they would have to make the game pretty long. And I don't think anyone was ready for that. Okay, so you do have reserve power-ups as well. Even though it looks like the mushroom is cut off from the bottom. Probably graphic limitations, I suppose, given that it is custom. So, that's pretty much what we gotta deal with. As customary to, like, my Mario hack Let's Plays, I will try to find all the secret exits. Okay, that was a bit bullshit right there. Pardon the language. Apparently when you press select to get out a power-up, it just, like, goes right next to you and doesn't fall from the sky. Huh. Apparently they have the same kind of flagpole as they do in, like, Mario 1. Or, well, other Mario games as well, I suppose. If you, like, uh, reach up high, you might get a lot of points. So now we're on 1-2. New Koopas on the block. Alright, so this one has a secret exit because the, uh, dot on it was red. Almost like, you know, you're walking around where a sniper is too, and then you check your forehead, and you find it's red, and either you got a zit on your forehead, or you're about to get shot. For some people, the uh, trauma is all the same. <laughs> Am I right, guys? Hopefully I'm not right. I'd hate for you to think that you getting a pimple is the worst thing that can ever happen to your life, as opposed to maybe the last few seconds of your life. Just throwing that out there. I'm gonna go back in case they trick me into putting a secret exit right between the entry and exit point of a pipe. And it doesn't look like they did. Oh, they, they put the key in the keyhole right next to each other. Well, not much has changed there. 1-5 already, and that also has a secret exit. Um, let's hold off on that for now. Usually I like to do the stages in order if I can. It makes things a little bit cleaner and more organized. God, even the flowers are cut off on the bottom. Whoa, I forgot about that Monty Mole over there. I will try to stack up as many lives as I can, all things considered. Granted, we're only in World 1, so that would require me getting a fair amount of coins, and, uh, we'll take it from there. I'm only just going back there for the other coin. 
so yeah, there's that. Um, I'm recording this on a Sunday, meaning that I'm actually recording this like two days before the first episode actually goes up. Granted, I was not originally planning to do a Mario hack. I think I was like planning to do another game I have I got off my Steam list, but I wasn't sure what game it was that I wanted to do. Because I have a lot, and not many of them I actually finished. Huh. I thought I couldn't like spin jump on any of those blocks. I don't know why I thought that, but I did. Oh! I got a one up! That I have to watch go away from me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey! I thought this game was so weird that it would allow me to get one ups, but you would never actually pick them up. Easy going, underground. Okay, a lot of the custom tracks in this hack are predominantly from Mario games, I've noticed. Like, I've seen some hacks where they've used, like, tracks from other games, such as Final Fantasy, Chrono Trigger, etc., etc. Especially, like, Pokemon and Sonic. And sometimes you even heard tracks from, like, actual music, like, even from Nightwish. Explain that to me. They wouldn't be crazy enough to, like, play some tracks from Nickelback. I mean, there's a whole copyright issue, and, you know... A lot of people don't like Nickelback. I don't hate Nickelback. Like, I probably wouldn't listen to their stuff now. Like, maybe their older stuff, but their newer stuff... Eh, do they still have new stuff? Are they still going? I, I'd hate to think they are. But, I mean, to each their own, I guess. Just because I don't care much for Nickelback doesn't mean I don't want them to perform. I mean, other people might actually enjoy them. And that's fine. Like, I hate when people go around saying, like, uh, Oh, they suck. They, they should stop, like, performing music. Like, if I can't enjoy it, nobody else should. That is the makings of a very crappy person. I'm just throwing that out there. Like you think that all entertainment should be based on what you enjoy, and to hell with anyone else. You can always just change radio stations. That's an option. Is there any way I can get to the flagpole? Huh, they even got the points scaled, too. That's actually pretty cool that they did that. It's like they pick a cutoff point for like, how many points you can get. I can go straight to the item hut. Okay. Hi, Luigi. Take whatever you find here. I'm sure it'll help you save Mario. Whatever it was, I don't care. At least I still have a flower. Sunset Shroom Garden. I also like that the uh, creator of the hack knows a lot of good grammar. Like, putting a comma between hi and then Luigi. Sometimes people forget to do that. I mean, back then I forgot to do that. But you're supposed to put a comma, like, before a direct address? So, yeah, and you gotta, like, uh, put the comma after the person's name as well. Unless it ends a sentence, then, well, you're obviously gonna use a period or an exclamation point. Whatever fits. I'm not here to teach you guys, let's be honest. In fact, I had a weird message pop up, like, on my, uh, class Facebook group that I set up, like, pretty much on the first day of registration just to get everything organized. They see me pretty awesome for that. But, uh, we had an email notification saying that, uh, document production, one of our classes, was cancelled tomorrow. Tomorrow being Monday. And then we found out it was actually for another instructor's class. So not us. And what nobody else brought up other than me... In fact, I don't think anybody else even responded to my previous message. That they said the document was cancelled from 12.30 a.m. to 2.30 a.m. Here's the thing. They have it 12.30 to 2.30 P.M. on Mondays, not A.M. 
So I think somebody done goofed. And nobody else picked up on it but me. Shroom Top Scamper. This one also has a secret exit. And that music is from Super Mario RPG. Uh, not Super Mario RPG. Super Mario Land 2, six golden coins. That's a bit of a gaffe on my part, but thankfully I corrected myself. I remember when I did six golden coins. That was like years ago. And I can't believe that years ago, when I still owned the uh, Game Boy cartridge, that I would constantly have to play it on easy mode when I knew that it worked. And I was like, you know what? The old me was probably a bit of a bitch. But now, i pretty much like, eh, I can do normal mode, no problem. Okay, I see where the P-switch is. No, I see where the key is. Well, duh, I see where the P-switch is. It's right in front of me. Oh my god. I can't talk today. Well, it's 9.34 p.m., so technically I can't talk tonight. <laughs> Oh, there are switch palaces in this hack, too. Collect the coins. Do I have to collect all of them? How many do I have to actually collect? Oh my god, this is from, like, Shy Guy's Toy Box and Paper Mario. Oh, you had to collect a certain amount. Okay, there we go. What was it, like, 10 or... Was it 20? I know it says 20 there, but did I start with zero? I don't remember if I did. Alright, I guess we're going back to uh, get the regular exit now. I don't think that's the castle up ahead. It's probably just the fortress. So I don't think I will go deep into World 2 on this video as well. Unless I make it over 30 to 40 minutes long, which I have no intention of doing. Although, to be fair, I mean, people would think that, you know what, you can offer a lot if you make the video length really long. And that is true, but then you eventually get bored midway through, and then the video doesn't do as well. And it's not like I'm just gonna put out the videos and make them, like, oh, three minutes long, so you pretty much have to watch a lot of them. I'm gonna, like, make them, like, average length to what I'm usually providing, so that you get the full enjoyment of it. And if I'm able to, like, uh, break it apart into worlds, that works too. If I'm able to do that. There's no guarantee that I will, though. Depends on how long the worlds are. Huh, that guy can't make it in the hole. Good for him, I suppose. Oh, you get one ups for this too, just like in 3D Land and in well, I guess New Super Mario Brothers games as well. Yeah, there's definitely more to World 1 than this. We're going to the Fortress. First Time Fortress. I don't think first time is a word, is it? I don't know. I'm actually stumped on that one. I feel like it's better off being two words. But this is not grammar school. Trust me, I think grammar Nazis are getting more uh, heat than actual Nazis at this rate. Um, yeah. I, I like the design of this fortress, though. It does have that Mario 3 feel. Without the checkpoints, of course. Remember, Mario 3 had no checkpoint system at all. Let's not forget those days. How did people survive without checkpoints? We just got good, that's how. Hey, Boom Boom, what's up? Boom 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 Boom, I don't want you in my room. He's got a quick recovery time, I've noticed. Yay, I beat the first fortress. For the first time. Haha! <laughs> 
definitely feels more of a Mario 3 game than a Mario World game. Well, maybe it's more of a hybrid. Oh, there's the castle. It's not that far from the fortress. Waterside Woodland. Oh god, I almost forgot where that track is from, but it's actually from like riding the mole cart when you're in Moleville Super Mario RPG. I don't think I've ever heard that song in a hack. So yeah, we're not noticing any tracks from non-Mario games. And some we've only heard for the very first time. You can definitely tell this person really loved Mario RPG. And how can you not? It's a great game. The Mario & Luigi RPG games are really good as well. Though they didn't really have that same appeal as Mario RPG did. Because it was so different. It was so different, and yet it worked so well. I mean, if you love JRPGs, then you're definitely going to give Mario RPG a chance. But it didn't have, like, completely everything exact to a JRPG. Like, it required you to be focused and interactive. Especially if you wanted to A. Defend yourself from attacks, or B. Make your attacks more potent. It rewarded you for paying attention. So there we go, we cleared that stage. That was pretty easy. And now we move on to 1-7. Leafy Green Grove. Okay, I take that back. There actually are non-Mario non uh, themes in this hack. They got the Lost Woods theme from Ocarina of Time. This is a very different rendition than I'm used to hearing. Also, there are bees, so watch out for those. I don't know if you can actually jump on them, but let's try. Not that I want to kill bees, because we kind of need the bees. I mean, without them, I mean, we're pretty much screwed. So we gotta do our part to uh, make sure that the bee population can uh, come back strong. This is not an animal rights uh, endorsement, by the way. Even though it is human nature to care for animals. I just mean that this video is not on the premise of activism. Why does it look like the flagpole was sticking out of Luigi's butt? <laughs> Because it was. <laughs> Alright, we moved on to the castle. Let's do this. Iggy Koopa's Castle. Wow, very creative name. I might as well get these coins too. <laughs> All two of them. Don't you mean both of them? <laughs> Yes, I do. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue on here. Anyways, by the day you're watching this video, I will have had my uh, test on a transcription, which we have on Tuesday, and that includes a spelling test. So far, I've aced every spelling test we've had so far, and I like to keep that uh, streak going. awesome, considering our instructor said that whoever gets a hundred on all the spelling tests on that course gets a prize. Now, I have no idea what that prize is. It could just be a couple pens, for all I know. But I'd still like to win it for bragging rights. Then again, that's usually one of those things that you achieve and you might want to keep quiet. I ain't putting down a spelling test uh, champion on my Tinder profile. They ain't gonna swipe right for that! Unless they like guys that are really smart and capable of spelling, then by all means. That'd be going on my Tinder profile tonight! Also, Icky, can you stop hopping when I jump on you? And for that, you die. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 
Wow, only the first video and already we cleared world one. Then again, I've had a hack where I almost finished two worlds in one video. Okay, now we're on to 2-1. So, this is a desert theme. Alright, this should be fun. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode when we take that on. Goodbye, everybody.